so some people are actually suggesting that an ultra or a heavy lift uh, tilt or a coaxial rotorcraft could have some potential in the commercial market. What do you? Th what are your thoughts about that? Um, you know, as long as you uh, ignore history, economics, and many other disciplines, I think that's exactly right. Unfortunately, those facts are still with us. I, I've never understood that. Um, first of all, on the commercial air transport front, or for that matter, the air cargo front, these are tremendously cost sensitive markets. And there's really not a problem with airports for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, now, where there is a problem with airports are places you really can't get to anyway. Yes, it would be great to lift a turbine to Siberia or what have you, but a rotorcraft isn't going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so I just don't understand the economics for that at all. You know, you look at the history of heavy lift rotorcraft in general, and yes, you know, there were some S61 sold no CH-53s, some CH-47s, a handful, a tiny handful, usually used. Um, that's a very small market. Most of the market for big rotorcraft is offshore. And even that's not big, that's more in the S61, S92, Super Puma class, which is really not what we're talking about here in terms mm -hmm. of Ultra. Yep. Um, but also some people are very, uh, think that it's very unlikely that the private markets would uh, like fund this kind of development. Uh, do you think that's the case, or do you see any promise there? I think here again, the markets function brilliantly. Mm -hmm. They're not funding the development of a system like this for civil users for the simple reason that there is almost no market for mm -hmm. civil users. So thank you so much for this interview. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye.